welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how to create this look using the dosa colors collaboration palette with desi and katie the Frankation palette i'm going to be using that again today to create this pink peachy look so i hope you guys enjoy the video so if you guys haven't seen my last video i actually did another look using a green that they have in the palette so this one is definitely more of a peach pinky look so if you guys are interested definitely keep on watching if you guys haven't seen my last video you guys definitely should check it out after this i'll have the link down below let's just get into the tutorial okay so i already did this eye i'm just going to show you guys how to achieve this look on this side so first i take my Too faced just peachy mattes palette and i take peach sangria that warm uh, magenta purple color so i'm just gonna take it with an m330 brush from morphe a nice size not too big not too small and i'm gonna take that and focus it on my outer so as you can tell we're gonna going for a, a more of a halo look so i'm just taking that bringing it in a little bit towards the center And then I'm going in with a smaller brush. This is a smudge brush and taking that into the inner corner just so I have a little bit more control on the placement. And then I'm gonna go in with an R40 brush from Morphe again and I'm gonna take that shade Girl By in the Frankation palette. Take a little bit on my brush and I'm gonna Apply that to the center and then what I'm gonna do is take another fluffy brush and I'm gonna take the color necessary from the Frankation palette and I'm gonna use that to buff around the edges so now that we have it all blended I am just gonna take a smaller brush to carve out the center and I'm placing most of the product on the lower part and then what I'm gonna do is slowly work it up use that to cut the crease and once I have that all done I'm gonna take a denser brush and I'm taking try me the sparkly warm pink shade and I'm going to just pat that on the lid and I brought this one up a little higher than I wanted to so I'm just gonna take a small little brush and kind of go over it just so I can try to bring it down a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna repeat the same step on this side. And I'm not trying to bring it down on this side, I'm just going over it to add that little extra darkness and definition. So they match. And then I'm gonna take that same fluffy brush and use that to blend the edges and this just has a little bit left over of the necessary shade and then i'm taking a small smaller brush so this is the m560 it looks like this i'm taking a little bit of my fix plus like so and i'm going in with just a kiss and i'm gonna place that just slightly over the center I'm going to take a little bit of Just a Kiss and apply that underneath my brow bone like so. I don't think I'm going to do any liner but I am going to add mascara and possibly some lashes today. So I am going to finish my face off and I will be right back. So I'm going to take that same small detailer brush and dip into Girl By and just use that on my lower lash line. I'm gonna dip into basic and just blend it out. And then I'm gonna take my Kylie Dark Bronze Eyeliner Pencil, put that in my lower lash line. I'm gonna then take a little bit of my NYX Matte Liquid Liner and use that to line the top of my lid. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of mascara. I'm just using the Falsies by Maybelline, the flared one in black. And then I'm just gonna take some lashes. So I just go ahead and fully coat the lash. I have one on my finger, getting nice and bent. 
I'm gonna go ahead and bend this one too. And then I'm just gonna take my lash tool. And if you guys are wondering, these are my Old Faithfuls, my Siren Lash from House of Lashes. These are my absolute favorite. They have the thinnest band, which I love because I'm not a big lash wearer. I find it pretty difficult to apply lashes on myself and then I absolutely hate when they like fall off in the middle of my day so I don't wear them often just to finish off my looks if I'm going somewhere or like an event if I'm just going to dinner or something casual I definitely don't wear them I definitely skip this step there's literally always that one side that is just so difficult but this inner corner is not staying so I'll be right back. Okay, so while that is drying, I'm going in with my Marc Jacobs Guilty Highlighter. It's called the Omega Glaze All Over Foil Luminizer. And it looks like this. So I'm going to take that and highlight my face. This is a really, really gold highlight. So with that, my face is pretty much done. My lashes are finally on. I'm going to just apply my lipstick. So I'm using the Too Faced Sex on the Peach lipstick. So I'm sorry if you guys are hearing planes or anything. There's planes going crazy all over and you can definitely hear them. I'm filming right in front of my window. I apologize in advance for that. So this is pretty much gonna be the finished look. I am going to add the new gloss, the new gloss from the collection, which is called The Most. I hate when I get lipstick on the wand. So before I put it back in, I always like to wipe it off to try to get the most lipstick off of it. Because I don't want it to change the color of the lip gloss in the tube. And it's going to look all gross because it is clear. Pro tip, wipe your wand. <laughs> after you use it on top of a lipstick okay guys so this is the finished look thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video and of course if you did definitely subscribe and don't forget to like the video again if you guys haven't seen my previous video using the friendcation palette i will have that link down below and stay tuned for some more i will see you in my next one bye